Hi, this is the Facebook incident of yesterday. I'm showing you information that we have from collectors which look at parts that are being announced by Facebook. This is a few hundred collectors, some of them in large IXPs and data centers, some in leaf nodes such as myself. And what we're doing is we're reporting back to life. Uh, what parts we can see to where and then life puts this all together into a database this is the steady state as it occurred uh, was there at midnight on UTC at the starting of Monday uh, starting of Tuesday right uh, this is about uh, uh, eight hours nine hours ago more no, 12 hours ago sorry yeah okay we'll now start playing now at the middle you can see this red dot this is facebook in particular this is one network at facebook 185892180 the reason why this is important is that the facebook dns servers authoritative servers reside on this network so what we are saying is how do people all over the world see the path to get to the facebook dns server while you're with, and this is a steady state. You can see hundreds of nodes. I have cut them down. I can see all nodes, but just to make performance in my browser acceptable, I'm taking a small subset. There are two timelines. This is around 1600 UTC, and this is later at night around 2100 UTC. So two large events happened. The bottom time bar is a much more granular thing, a yellow, means a path changed, a green means a new path appeared, a red means a path was withdrawn. And we will start the playback, which hopefully will start now. No, for some strange reason decides it doesn't want to, I'll make a small change to it. And reload the page. My apologies for the poor sound. Something is happening. Please wait. It's a large JSON thingy coming down. And let's start playing back. This is a steady state. And nothing is happening as you can see till 1539. When Facebook starts withdrawing routes, as it withdraws routes, providers try to fall over, other networks try to fall over. And you can see in most of these cases, the new route that they provide, it's moving over to, it's longer. From two hops, it's moving to three hops or five hops. They're jumping all over the place. And this is because when a route disappears between A and B, B announces the disappearance of the route to its downstream C but C may also have a route from another ISP which is delaying the announcement for various reasons. Not only engineering reasons, technical or traffic engineering, but for other reasons. Timers expire at different intervals. As you can see, routes are disappearing and we are seeing the network becoming slightly less congested. We can't really see that because there were so many lines earlier that a few disappearing is not making much of a difference to us. Again, the red in the middle, this is Facebook. We have, for example, a large provider here. If I hover over it, do a mouse over, you should be able to see this is cold. And if you see the routes being in passing cold, we have another large provider here. Again, a mouse over, we need. And this is cogent, which you no doubt have heard of. We should see Here's another large up to down, level 3. Lots of people are connecting via level 3. The way this graph is drawn is that people who are one hop or two hops away are, close, are drawn closer to Facebook, while people who are multiple hops away are drawn farther. You can, of course, move this. For example, if I want to have a better look at this network, which I mentioned, I can drag it to this side and say, hmm, which network is this? This is secure bit in Switzerland. It provides service to lots of people, but it itself, if you notice, 
is not peering with Facebook directly. It goes through another network and finally comes up at cold, at cogent. Right? We are now approximately two minutes into the incident. As timers expire, you can see because of collection granularity is one second, we can see. You're seeing the announcements as well. This is people downstream of an ISP which has dropped connectivity to Facebook. They have managed to find another ISP who is still announcing Facebook and so they are telling their further downstreams that, oh, I have a route, I have a route, but actually the route doesn't exist. They will find out that that is also not reasonable. In the interest of time, I'll jump ahead now to a minute or two later and you can see what happens as the last few, forget this, this is the whole graph being redrawn and now you can see we are now about three minutes into it, most timers have expired, BGP routes are no longer being announced. Here is somebody who went, if you saw that, that is somebody who went through at five level, he still thinks he has some connectivity somewhere. Right? Because the routing information bases are being updated in various ISPs at different times, people still believe that they may have some connectivity. But as you will see, most of this will be people who were believe they were two hops away from my Facebook. They have another route which is five hops away and they are falling over to that. And then of course finding that that doesn't really work either. That route has also disappeared. So after the fallover, you will see that somebody who is moving then disappears. I'll just show you one of those. Here is somebody who moved over. Wow, he said, I found it. But then at the next BGP check, he will realize that, no, that wasn't true either. We are now about 7 minutes into it. Why are we spending so long doing a BGP convergence? This is because of the timers. We don't want flapping. So many people for traffic engineering say that if a route has disappeared, don't withdraw it. But as you see, this is not true of most of our collectors in your, the core, the bigger guys. They are very aggressively saying, if a route has disappeared, it disappeared. Don't expect it to come back. Maybe there's something is going to come back. Maybe it's not. Tell your downstreams, not feasible, and that's it. We are around eight minutes or less into the incident. As you will see from the bottom timeline, we are no longer having things happening in every second. We are now seeing, this is four minutes later, we are now 12 minutes into the that. Look at the time here, 15.57, jumps to 16.02 when we see this. The last few hangouts who have still believed that they have a route, of course your traffic is growing. And by now, we have effectively, during this period, a lot of DNS traffic, the DNS traffic at our open visit resolvers went up dramatically. Queries to fb.com and similar properties were up 8 times to 10 times during this time. Because lots of devices, dumb devices, when they could not resolve fb.com or WhatsApp or the CDN, decided to try again and try again. And now at 21.02 UTC, we see Facebook announced and suddenly we are seeing routes come up all over. Again, routes, you will see routes are moving as well. The reason they are moving is some people like this gentleman here, uh, 1299 Octavia came up first, announced to everybody, all the downstreams jumped onto that and then as they find that other of the upstreams have come up, they might be shifting. So you will see a lot of these movements as you can see, routes moving over because they are saying, oh my second ISP has come up and that's a better one that I prefer to use. So they jump when there is no choice, they jumped onto one but now as the other larger ISPs are coming on, transit providers, a lot of convergence is happening. Now this is happening at 21.02, as you can see, we are playing out at less than real time speed, this part, okay, and we are achieving a sort of happy steady state. And then what happens now, somebody at Facebook decides to do another router reboot. So watch out for that, Twenty-one. 
121 or 143. We are quite happy. I'll see if I can jump my head a little. Okay, now see what happens. Now this is a, here it's not about the reboot as such. Okay. What is happening is somebody is actually administratively shutting down the router. So the route, as the Facebook router goes down, is actually telling people, I'm going down, please. And this leads to much faster reconvergence. You'll see the routes sort of disappear. Look at the bottom line, one second interval. This is what you're saying is more or less normal. should probably play this part at 2x speed. If you're looking at this, you can always say play at 2x speed or 4x speed. It's limited by the JavaScript performance of your browser. What you're seeing now is normal on a good day. It's slightly heavier than on a good day because people are still finding alternative paths. This is Facebook, the red dot. This is currently their main upstream provider. Cogent, I see Cogent has a lot of routes from them. And at some point they're going to say, well, since the router went down anyway, we might as well as do some other work. Let me see if I can jump ahead. Again, this is taking much too long. Everybody has more or less centralized on Cogent and a few others. You should see Telia here. This is GTT. I believe a Tata company now. I'll just jump ahead. Ignore this, this is a refresh going on, and see what happened. At some point, Facebook decided to announce that it was no longer, this was no longer a valid path. But you see, this one cleaned up much faster, because here, this is a administratively down. So we can make out whether the router went down by somebody pulling a plug or cutting the cable or whether the router got a time to do a graceful shutdown, in which case it announces to everybody. So the network gets freed up much faster. Right? People are not having timer expiring. And by this time, and then uh, uh, this is 2110, and now they start coming up again. And now you see the greens at the bottom as the announcements start. And first up is this transit here. Cold. And now everybody is coming. But now Cogent is no longer in number one. These guys came up next and so they are announcing to everybody. Uh, GTT backbone. So a lot of traffic is going to GTT backbone. Once Cogent and level three come up, enough of the traffic will transfer there. This cogent. You can see traffic slowly. If you look, keep your eye on this place, you'll see traffic slowly, people deciding to use that. You'll see paths moving over to there. There you are. Cogent is now announcing and lots of paths moved on. 
and then we finally end up at a steady state. I'll jump ahead to a steady state and this is what the network looks like now. And this is normal. And if you look at the bottom, every 5 to 10 minutes somebody shifts. Look at this, no longer at 1 second of time, 5 seconds. Here, yeah, some 26 minutes the network was stable and then somebody shifted over to Cogent. And this is what it looks like. I'll send over the URL so that you can play with this on your own and play with it with your own networks as well. 